Again, welcome back on this Domingo channel, guys. I'm Ram Kisting. In today's video, we are going to talk about console in the Unity. Guys, what is the console? Console in Unity is a window where we use debug. Like we have used the debug in our code, so we we will able to see our print messages in the console. So let's start the today video. If you are new on the channel, make sure you have subscribed the channel. And guys, if you haven't check out my blogging channel, Mr. RK, so you can check out Mr. RK blog. So let's start the today video. Hey guys, welcome back on Mr. Mego channel, guys. I'm Ramkesh Singh, and in today video, we are going to talk about Unity console. Guys, what is the use of Unity console? Guys, uh, there are so many people who was commented on my my tutorial on the debug so that they sometimes they lost the console and they are not able to get the console and they are they are, don't have full idea how we can uh, use the console so in today video we are going to talk about console so first thing what is the console guys in every platform it may be the android or it may be the unity on every platform where development work uh, happen so we use the console means uh, we need to debug the code like uh, we are working the loop yeah, we are working with anything so when we compile our code so we want to print something so we use the debug and that debug message we can see in the console like you are writing the any code suppose I have written the code and here I want to print something so this is the debug I have used and every platform every language you can use different like you can use the print you can use the console whatever you, you want it depends up, totally upon the platform where you are working so as this is the debug log array so when we when it will be compiled so I will be able to print the array and whatever the data inside the array a it will print so where we will see it we can see it inside the console so where is console here is console but guys sometimes we are not able to get the console because maybe we have just removed the console from here so you will not able to get the console like if you will close it so you will not see where it is so you when you will run it so you will not able to see the where is your console so first question is how we can get the console so here you can see when you will run it so you can pre you can click on it and then you will get it but guys sometime we are not able to see the console so in that case you can go inside the window and here is your general setting and here you can get the console so when you will click it so here you, it will be your console and from to, from dragging it you can just put here So you can drag it anywhere in your unity so i'm putting here yeah so now we have console and the sort key is maybe you have lost so you can use the sort key suppose you want to close it so i have closed it Control shift c here is your console okay and here is few properties like you can see so timestamp and log entry and here here is the button you can close the console window okay and shortcut is control shift c okay so guys you can see we have console and there are so many tab like you can see there is a clear so whenever you will run it let me show you with the example 
like I'm using here is loop so I'm using debug dot log run it so what you are going to see is that when you will suppose there is there are many debug you have printed here so when you at runtime when you want to clear it so you have to just click here clear and guys when you have chosen it uh, clear on play so it, when you will play your game so it will clear and then it will start again means you will get the data you will get the debug data from its starting and when you will get the error message like you have not uh, passed the references or you are getting the red error message so when you have chosen the error pause so it will show otherwise it will not show so so many people complain about it that i am not able to error pause i am not able to uh, get the console data properly so it may be the problem and guys here is the collapse suppose I have printed uh, collab means uh, in uh, one line it will print like I am using nested mango in the loop so it will print uh, the print um, many times like it will print uh, uh, print uh, print many times like uh, it uh, will print equal to the length of the array so it will print many times so nested mango will not print in the separate line it will print in the one single line when you will choose in the collapse method so let's run it and let's see how it's going to work it okay so you can see we have this message here is Nestle mango I am printing so this is the way you are printing and last you will get below but guys when you have when you will collapse it so you can see how it going to work now I am choosing the collapse so you can see here is Nestle mango so it's printing six times and not in the separate lines it, it is in one line so it is also sometimes very useful but sometimes it is not useful and here is the separate data so it's printing in separate lines so this is the way and what you want to use it is totally depend upon you but must be if you want to collapse it must be selected if you don't want so don't select it and it is also already selected on clear on play so hope you learn about the console how you have to use the console how you you have to clear the console so if you learn something if you enjoy the video don't forget to like subscribe and share you can ask your comment in the below in the comment box and you can connect me on the instagram and if you love to watch the blogging video so you can check out on mr rk blog so bye bye take care see you in the next video Hey guys, hope you learned about the console window, how you can get it if you lost and how you can use console window in a proper way. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Keep learning. Keep growing. Make sure you have connect me on the Instagram and check out my blogging channel. Thank you so much for watching.